Good morning, Newman Smith, and welcome to day two. We are so excited for the 2023 school year, 2023-2024. Go seniors. Well, I'm Dr. Jimenez, the proud principal of Newman Smith High School, where our mission is to graduate all scholars to be college, career, or military ready without remediation. Our theme for this year in CFB is we are one big family, and we know that that is true, especially right here at Trojan Nation. Well, let's start as we do every day with our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now our pledge to the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. And now for our moment of silence. Thank you, and you may be seated. Well, we have a couple of announcements today since it's really our first Newsday with Dr. J for the 23-24 school year. One of our first announcements is why do we do the news every day during second and sixth period? Well, if you ask any returning scholar or your professors, they would tell you we do the news so that we can build community and positive culture at Newman Smith. And we want to tell the world wide web about our great school. So make sure that you go into Newsday with Dr. J and hit subscribe. Today, after we watch the news, we're going to ha ask your teachers to give you some time to hop in and subscribe to our Newsday with Dr. J. We always do a word of the day because the SAT, the PSAT, and the ACT are very important college entrance tests. So every day we will do a word of the day. Our word of the day today is eccentric. It's an adjective. It means peculiar or odd, deviating from the norm. The freshmen were looking at Dr. J like she was very eccentric when they first met her because we were this morning saying, good morning, good morning, good morning. And so the freshmen uh, did not get a chance to see me yesterday, so they thought that I was eccentric and upper classmen, you can tell them that that is true. All right, our quote of the day, because we know that what you put into your mind comes out into your life, our quote of the day is from Dr. Seuss. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. That's from a book called Oh, the Places You'll Go. Thought it was a great way to start school. Uh, we are a K-12 through journey, and so uh, Dr. Seuss is read in our elementary campuses, and he is a great author. So I just thought we would start with that so you can remember where you came from, K-12. through all right, our theme this year is we are with you until the end of the line. And the end of the line for you scholars is graduation. And I know that our upperclassmen would tell you, freshmen, that we are with you every single day. You have goals, scholars. You have goals. Hashtag goals. You are to show Trojan pride, always exhibiting our five pillars. And then your second goal is to drive the rigor. So you're gonna love the scholar by showing your five pillars. You're gonna drive the rigor by improving your achievement scores. So freshmen, you have five tests that you have to pass to get out of high school, to graduate per the state of Texas. So we want to make sure that you pass those the first time and that you're not retesting in the years after your freshman year for English one, algebra one, and a biology and that you're not retesting for English 2 in your sophomore year or U.S. history in your junior year. So you want to pass all five of those on time so that you don't have to retest. Okay, what, what are the five pillars? Well, if you, ex if you exemplify these five pillars, you too could be the recipient of a principal's coin. And so they are plan for achievement, respond with honor, integrity, don't lie, tell the truth, and exude loyalty to your school. They spell out Trojan pride. So make sure that if you're in our hallways, if you're in the cafeteria, if you're a junior or senior and you're allowed to eat out in the common areas, that you are always exhibiting Trojan pride. All right, let's talk schedule changes. So as many of you know, um, our, assist our associate principal from last year, Ms. Bridges, is now the principal at Blair Elementary. So I will be handling all schedule changes until we can fill her position. In order to get a schedule change, that you have to meet four qualifications. You have to have be missing a required class. You have to have a change in programs, fine arts, athletics, and those changes require your coach's signature and your parent's signature. You need to already have had the credit for the course or you wanna move up to AP or pre-AP. So we, we can accommodate those changes 
Um, absolutely. But make sure you turn in this pink form by August the 16th at 4 p.m. After that, we cannot move any more classes. So, um, also, you could receive a schedule change by leveling our classes. In the first two days of school, you may notice that some of your classes are really small and some are really, really big. So, we'll have to go through and level. It doesn't mean your classes will change. It just may mean that the period you're in may change. So, we'll give you a heads up as we move along. And finally, don't forget in our Trojan training, this is a new change for the entire state this year. But uh, the state has put their foot down on e-cigarettes. So any e-cigarette on campus, whether it has um, uh, no matter what substance is in it, you would be given uh, the mandatory DAEP. And if it's THC, it's a longer stint at DAEP. So no vapes on campus. We've got the vape detectors that have been put in. The state has put their foot down. And that's really good for you because it's not healthy for you to vape anything. So uh, we definitely are on the lookout for that. Um, felony drugs or dangerous controlled substances would be an automatic would be an automatic mandatory JJ placement. So we sent this to your parents yesterday just because it's such a big shift in the law uh, that you know we, we want all and we're shifting this law because we want you to be safe. All right, well, I've been talking a lot on this first news. We try to keep the news down, um, but we know that every scholar should have an ID. The librarians have worked very hard. You cannot get into any class at Newman Smith High School without your ID on. So this is super important to have your ID. Can't get into any class without it, and you do not want to have ID fines of up to $150. Every time you don't bring your ID, you are sent to the library to purchase a new one, and they are $5. So we want to make sure, just, just wear yours every day. If you're struggling with that, work with an adult on the campus to come up with a plan, um, but you need to wear it every single day. All right, well, finally, um, we have our first guest on the news. Now, remember, the purpose of the news is to build community and have a positive culture at Smith. So, of course, I'm going to have a senior on the news today. Go, class of 2024. You are so loved. I'm going to have a senior on the news. I want to bring him over right now. He's also our aide next period. I'm super excited. But uh, this is Mo. Mo, come on over. Mo, you're the first guest on the news of 23-24. How exciting, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. It feels well, good. It feels good. Tell me, Mo, you're finally a senior. What are you looking forward to? Hmm. I'm looking forward to many opportunities when I graduate, you know, I have many plans, go to college, you know, be a nurse, all that. And, you know, one of the opportunities that we have being a senior, you get um you get out periods, you get lunch off campus, you know, it's it's good. Ooh, lunch off campus. They just built a Canes. I love Canes yeah. chicken. So let me know if you run out. I'm just kidding. Right. Um, Mo, you've been with us all four years here at Newman Smith for high school. So tell us, what are some of your favorite memories about our campus? Oh, some of my favorite memories were, like, being part of the basketball team, you know. That was really good because everybody over there feels like family, you know. They're just so supportive. You know, the teachers, the staff members, you know, they're all people you can go to for help, you know. They always, you know, show you directions help you even if it's not school related they always got your back absolutely absolutely yeah. you know we talked before the news and you said that you just you loved your teachers and you said that the school felt like a really safe space yeah that's good mo i'm so excited that you're a senior i can't wait for you to become a nurse because i'm going to be getting old and i'll be coming to doctor's yeah. visits and i'll be running into mo how great is that well um mo thanks for being on the news you will forever be the first person on the news of the year. I love it. Well, we tell you this every day, and we mean it. We love you. We think you're great. Remember, character counts. And ready? Make, Make it a great, great day or not, not the, the choice, choice is yours. yours.